everybody, this is Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stick, and today I just want to do a little video and show how I would change out the uh, ring in my beer can cook pot uh, if I were out on the trail. Um, my last video I made and the last post on my blog was about a uh, ring that I received from Smoke Eater 908. Um, well, uh, I also received another ring from Tenny at Mini Bull Designs, and right now I have uh, his ring in a shorter Foster's pot. And uh, this morning when I was using the pot, I noticed that uh, there was a little bubble down inside of it. I'm not sure uh, what it's from, but um, I'm wondering if maybe it's the liner inside the Foster's can is uh, bubbling up. I'm not sure why, if it is, because I haven't burnt it. Uh, I haven't run the stove with the, I mean, I haven't run the cook pot on the stove with it empty. It's always had water in it. So uh, I'm not really sure what that is, but whenever I saw the bubble, it gave me an idea and I decided I wanted to do a little video to try and show how I would change out the ring and put it in another can while I was on the trail. Um, now I will say one thing, uh, if I'm on the trail, probably I think that my biggest obstacle is going to be to actually get another Foster's can to put it in. Um, but otherwise, I think that uh, I think I'd, I'd be able to change this out really well or I think I would be able to change it out fairly easily as long as I could find another Foster's can. So for the sake of this video, I do have another Foster's can, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the items that I would have with me while I was on a backpacking trip to actually change it out in this video. So first off, I have my stove kit that I would use, and there's not much in here. It's just really the cook pot inside the uh, container. And uh, this is the one that I made. I based this off of Tenny's uh, Questionable Mental Health. It's good for about eight ounces. Uh, you don't want to put much more than eight ounces in it because once it starts boiling, it'll kind of boil over. But I don't know how well you can see. I've got uh, Tenny's lid inside, I mean Tenny's ring inside there. And this is a really nice ring. Um, it's really polished. And what I like about it is it's rounded at the top. I really like that about this ring. I also found that uh, the bottom of it where it inserts into the can is not tapered really as much as it's just got an inset set into it so it fits down inside the can really easily and to be honest with this one all I did was push it in with my hand it went in but it's good and tight it's kind of hard to come out so it's not like it would just fall out if I was using it but anyway uh, real quick I just want to show you um, like I say I do have another Foster's can here it's kind of bent up here that's okay another Foster's can there and uh, a few things here uh, depending on the trip I was on, I might be carrying this Mora, um, so I could use that, but I'm not going to use that for this video. If I was at home, what I would probably do to take this off is to take a flathead screwdriver, put it right up under the lip and kind of hold it, and then just take a little hammer, kind of tap on it, and then just keep going around and doing that until it all comes loose. But I'm not going to do that in this video. What I'm going to attempt in this video is to use my K-Bar Mini Dozer. Now my idea is to uh, use the blade to kind of put in the edges there where the can is up against the lip and kind of pry it back a little bit and just keep doing that around and then maybe once it gets to a point I can pull it off. Worst case scenario I could actually cut this thing uh, and maybe try to work its way off like that. There is some potential uh, harm involved in this. I could cut myself with a knife and stuff, so I don't suggest anybody really go out and try this just because I'm doing it. I just wanted to see if I could do it. And one other thing, I usually also have an ink pen because I bring a notebook and ink pen with me. And this ink pen is what I'm going to use to mark where I need to cut this other one. Or I could just eyeball it, but I would have an ink pen with me, so that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, I'm going to start by I don't know how well this is going to work because I haven't uh, actually removed this yet. Since I got it, it's been in this pot. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's in the very bottom. I don't know how well the camera's focusing. The little bubble's all the way inside the bottom there. So. I'm sure this isn't good for my knife blade either, but... You know, if you had to do it, you had to do it. That's just uh, the way it is. Hmm. 
Looks like I could actually just uh, even better than that. I don't know if you can tell, but right there, actually, I've just kind of cut the can. So I can maybe just tear the can off right there. Sample. So there's my old cook pot. You gotta be very careful with this because it will cut you. And like I say, I don't know if you can see it, but down in the bottom, that little brown spot, that was what I was worried about. So the next thing I need to do is uh, cut this other can. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and mark it with my ink pen. Just kind of give me an idea where to cut it with my knife. And I don't think that's going to work. You live, you learn. So I'm just going to... Uh... Use my knife and cut it. At about where I think I would want it and try and do it. A straight line. Like I say, if I was at home, I would do this the right way. And probably if I had to do one like this when I got home, I would probably end up changing it out anyway for a, uh, a different one just so it would look better maybe function a little better as accident prone as I am there's a lot of potential right here okay so One thing I noticed doing that, um, my can, the edge is really ugly, and it's uh, obviously it's not level. If I had some scissors or something, I could fix that up. But since I'm uh, doing this without all that stuff, I'm not going to use any. So right now, that's a really ugly can. But I'm going to see if it'll work. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My camera shut off at about 8 minutes and 47 seconds, so I didn't get all the way in. Um, regardless, this is the finished product. Um, you can see it's not real. You can see I didn't cut it real straight. Like I say, I didn't have a pair of scissors to do that. I did that with my uh, K bar there. And you can see it's it's not the prettiest looking thing, but it will definitely work. Um, it fits on there just fine. If it stays. So there it is it can be done it really sucks that that last part cut off dang it anyway uh, i want to show you real quick why if i can find it oh yeah here it is um i don't know if you can see that little brown spot in there uh right there uh that's the spot it just came up obviously the last time or two that i boiled because i didn't i haven't noticed it uh, until just now and I don't know what it is I can't wash it off and all I've boiled in this thing was just water so it's not any kind of food residue or anything uh, but it just showed up 
and like I said these uh, beer cans of course all these cans you know that's a big ordeal to some people uh, is that the liner in these things whenever you're boiling uh, in these things that there's chemicals being leached out of the plastic liner in these cans um, and then also I've heard that uh, once the cans do um, that you can boil the or you can uh, mess up the liner in there so I, d I don't know what it was I just figured this was a good opportunity to shoot a little video to see if I could do it actually um, and uh, the video is just kind of added benefit even though I did miss the very end I apologize for that guys but anyway uh, that's that's uh, the ring from Tenny from Mini Bull Designs it's a sweet little ring it's very easy to uh, to insert into a Foster's can um, actually when the video shut off it really wasn't but about I don't know about another 40 seconds maybe and uh, I got everything lit, lined up and pushed in there really well. And like I say, it just went in with my hand, so it wasn't a big, it, I didn't have to use anything to hammer the, the lid down in there. It went in there really well. So anyway, uh, that's my pot ring I got from Tinny, and that's uh, how to install it on the trail. I hope, uh, I guess I can talk to the camera. I hope that it helps a little bit, um, give you some idea of what it's uh, involved with possibly changing it out. I probably will go and buy another Foster's can, like I say, and uh, cut it with some scissors and make it look a lot better than what this is. But technically, I could use this. So I guess it all comes down to do I want to go and waste a dollar or seventy on another Foster's. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment down at the bottom of the video. And until next time, see you later.